as well. Don't come for me. It's very early. Well, not super early. It's like 9.50, but that's early for me, okay? Um, anyways, if you can tell by the title of this video, I'm getting a chemical peel, and that's today. Um, so this video right here is kind of just like a little before, before, yeah. So you guys can see what my skin looks like. Um, so the chemical peel that I'm getting is one I've never done before. It is kind of a new peel. They're just getting, like, popular. They're just kind of, like, launching. Um, it's called a VI peel. And this is a medium to deep peel. The one I'm getting is the VI peel Purify Precision Plus. So, the peel that I'm getting is made specifically for people with oily acne skin. Um, people that want to get rid of hyperpigmentation mainly and acne scarring. Um, so, that's pretty much, like, my goal for this peel. I'm going to be getting it at a spa that I love to go to that I go there all the time for stuff. It's just like one of my favorite places. Um, so this video is going to be kind of just like a little vlog of this peel and like how it works for me and like what it does for me and I just want to inform you guys you know because maybe you have your own skin issues you want to get it done or you don't know what you should get done. So yeah. So Let's just take a look at my skin. My hands are clean, don't worry. I have nothing on my skin. I just washed my face, just woke up. Um, so you can see all this right here. I'm touching it. These are all flat. So these are not breakouts. This one feels like it maybe this might just be a blackhead. This one actually was a blackhead. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, but I tried doing extractions and it was just really stubborn. So it's a little bit um, inflamed. It might even be scarred from the amount of pressure I was putting because it does feel dry right here. So hopefully with this peel in the first round, I'm not really sure how much will come off, but I'm hoping to get this extremely like diminished, even like these two, because these are very like minimal. This is all hyperpigmentation. These are all flat. This is just discoloration left over from all the acne I had all these years and then right here these are flat these will wear um papules which are pimples or pustules but they never reach the surface and I used um these stickers called um zit sticker and they have these little micro needles and I put them on there before they could break out but they left discoloration because that usually happens for me. And here I just have some texture. Because I have oily skin. And then over here, same thing. Um, these aren't breakouts. This might just be a blackhead. But this is all flat. This, I did have a breakout here. And it did leave um, some discoloration. So that's normal for me. And then I also have some here. Because I was breaking out a lot recently. So these are all flat now, but this is a discoloration left from my acne. I didn't pop these. I didn't do anything to them. I just let nature do its thing. But these are all flat now, and this is discoloration from them. So yeah, right here, I have a little bit right here. I have one pimple right here. This is just hyper hyperpigmentation. Same thing on my forehead. I don't have anything. These are all flat. This is just post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is normal for a lot of people usually it happens in darker skin tones because of all the melanin in their skin but this can also happen to people with light skin tones like mine it just depends some people are more prone to it and this is a, a burn so that's nothing um and then yeah yeah I'm going to be shedding a lot, so I'm going to be vlogging every day just to kind of show you guys like an update on my skin, and then I'm also going to show you a two-week update after the peel, so two weeks from today, how my skin will be, just because we'll get a better idea of what my skin actually looks like, and then from there, I'm going to be doing more treatments, maybe another peel, maybe something else. Um, I could possibly vlog those if you guys want, I don't know. I'm also going to be taking like a before photo and then an after and then also maybe some in between. And I'll be throwing those in here too so you guys can take a look at those. Okay guys, so I'm getting the peel at the Rejuvenation House with my esthetician, Hannah. So she's kind of just 
wrapping my head up as you can see and then right now we're gonna do a cleanse make sure my skin's all clean there's nothing on it really good. The texture is a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and degrease your skin. I'm going to use the acetone pad first and then I'm actually going to do um, an alcohol pad as well. Okay. Make sure we get your skin really degreased very well. so we can really push it into your skin good. Okay. Yes, I do look orangey. A orangey, and, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I brought a headband too, so my hair is not in the way. Yes, yeah, that's <laughs> Hey, Grelly Pops. So, um, it has been like an hour and a half since my appointment. This is the peel. It is still on my face and my neck. Um, you're supposed to keep it on four hours um, after they put it on. Um, so, you saw that process. Um, so... I was done at 11.30, so I'm going to take this off at 3.30. It's only 12.30 right now, but I'm going to show you guys the kit that they gave me because there is a post-care kit that goes with this, so let me show y'all. So this is what the kit looks like, VI peel, Purified Precision Plus, so this is for my specific peel that I did. comes with, this is the post-peel protectant. This is going to be like my moisturizer, she told me, and then this is my SPF. 50. This is my cleansers. And it's only two packs, but there's a lot she said I need a little bit to use. And then I have two post peel towelettes. And then, so these are, are the post peel. This is the precision plus part of the peel. And then I have three of these. These are the purify post peel so um let me tell y'all how she told me to use these when i'm ready to take this off in three more hours i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna wash my face off with cool to warm water not hot with this with the cleanser and then i'm gonna go in with the dark green which is the purify towelette i'm gonna it's, i'm kind of gonna use it like as a toner basically and then after that, I'm going to use the post peel protectant, which is going to be like a moisturizer. And then the SPF 50 cream. And that's just for today, like after I'm taking the peel off. And then I'll show you guys later at nighttime how I do it. So, yeah. Hey, down. hey Gritty Pulps. So, um, I just came back after work. I'm wearing my pajamas. Um, so, I didn't show this because I was in a hurry to go to work. But I took off the peel after four hours. So this is me after work. I'm getting ready to wash my face because I'm going to go to bed. Um, so I just kind of like want to show you guys how that goes down. Just so you know. First, wash your hands with soap. Coronavirus is around. But also don't be, don't be touching your face with your nasty hands. A lot of... Make sure you get your hands good and then sing a song. My hands are washed. You can't see me. I'm sorry. Do you guys like my man's pajamas? They're cute, aren't they? Anyways, sorry. I'm gonna wash my face with the cleanser. It's open because I opened it earlier, so I'm gonna wash my face with it. Cold water or warm water, nothing hot. See, this is like how it looks. It's not really like sudsy. But just because it doesn't set doesn't mean it's not working, okay? Okay, so now we're using the lime green. Alright, so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. 
See, this is what they look like. And then you just put them all over your face. Okay, just like this. And I do feel the products in this. And she told me to, I can go a little heavier on the areas that I want healed the most. So I'm really like focusing on this area, my cheeks and my chin. And then throw it out, wash your hands. This step is done an hour before bedtime. And then I'm going to come back in 30 minutes. And then there's another step I'm going to do. So be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, girly pops. It's been about 30 minutes. Um, so next, I'm going to do my other towelette. This is the dark green one tells me to do. This is the purify one. Let me take it out of my thing. Looks like this. It's just like the other one, but like more yellow. I'm gonna put it all over my face. Y'all hear that? That was my knees. <sighs> okay, so wash my hands because it says wash your hands, and then now I'm going with the um the post peel protectant. So this is like your moisturizer, basically. Like I said, but it's also an anti-age cream because your skin does get like really dry. And the active ingredient is hydrocortisone. So that's like basically gonna like numb your skin so it prevents the itching. We gonna So I'm ready to go to bed. I will update you guys tomorrow. We'll see if there's anything different. So until then, good night. The next morning. Hey, girly pops. So it is day two in the morning. I look really rough. Um, but I just washed my face. Um, so for the routine this morning, I just had to use the cleanser and then dry my face and then use the protectant which is like the moisturizer and then the SPF so that's all I did um my face doesn't feel super different than yesterday um it does feel a little dry it doesn't feel like super tight it actually feels like I don't want to say normal because normally my face is oily but it does feel like normal it doesn't feel like super oily but it also doesn't feel like really dry if that makes sense it just feels kind of normal um but it is drier than usual I am getting a little bit dry like right here and I am feeling kind of like certain areas of my face feel more dry like right here and right here and a little bit on my forehead um so yeah other than that not much is happening today so I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day and then I will update you guys later tonight with the night routine okay hey y'all so I just came back from work oh it's really bright I just came back from work and look I'm peeling. Hmm. Yeah, I am peeling a little bit, as you can see. Kind of gross, kind of cool. Also a little bit here in the corners of my nose. That's just kind of been happening just because I talk. So the skin's kind of like moving. So yeah, now I'm going to do the nighttime routine and it will go from there. Honestly, I'll probably just call it a day after I wash my face and I'll update you guys tomorrow in the morning for day three approximately 10 hours later hey girly pops um it's it's corona time um oh anyways aside from that um this is my face this is day three i have been peeling i just washed my face so i kind of got a little bit of the flakes but i am peeling um mainly right here as you can see and a bit on my nose so yeah, and then a little bit right here. It's getting a little hard. So these are probably going to start soon. I put on my post peel protectant and my SPF. So it did make my face a little flaky. But it does look better all moisturized and stuff. So yeah, that's an update for today. Um, coronavirus is going around. I just got news that my brother's school corporation is going to be closed for four weeks. So yeah, and my Billy Eilish concert got postponed. So that's not fun. Um, but yeah, um, I will check back again on here tonight for the nightly update. So, yeah.
Seven hours later. Yo, yo, yo. It's the end of day three. Just washed my face. I'm going to bed. Um, not much has changed. Still peeling. Um, zoom in. Hello. Um, I've been peeling like here in my nose. I think I'm gonna start peeling here soon, probably tomorrow. Um, and then I did notice a little bit on my eyes when I was washing my face that it was peeling here because she did put the peel here as well. My face compared to other peels that I've done, like for example, I did a TCA peel like a few months ago and it made my face feel so dry, which, which, with this one, it has TCA in it, but it also has, I think, phenol. But, like, my face doesn't feel, like, dry, like, like, scrunchy, like, tight, or anything like that. Like, the TCA peel. So, I don't know if, like, if my face will get like that, or if it's just gonna stay like this. Because this is, like, pretty comfortable. I only put on the, the cream once a day, and it's, like, it feels fine. So, I don't know, maybe it has to do with that or something, but my skin feels fine it's dry obviously because it's like flaking a little bit but it's not like tight so i don't know maybe that'll change tomorrow um but yeah it's time for bed we'll update you guys first thing in the morning i think before i wash my face just to see if there's any peeling or little flakes or something you guys can look at so yeah good night the next day hey guys happy day four first of all can you just like look at this please It's snowing. It is snowing. It was literally 60 degrees two days ago. Anyways, um, I haven't washed my face yet for the morning, but I wanted you guys to take a look at what's happening. So there's some more peeling right here. I got a little bit going on right here. Here, my skin is starting to feel more tight. When I scrunch it, you kind of see my skin looks very dry right here. So, it is getting dry. It is happening. And you notice my skin also looks a little bit darker where I have my hyperpigmentation. So, maybe they're going to get really light. I hope so. Um, but, yeah, I am peeling a little bit more today. Around right here. Pretty much peeled all the way here already. So we're just gonna run right here, going up my face, and then probably eventually here, because it is feeling kind of tight, but that's about it for today. Um, I'm gonna update you guys later tonight when I wash my face to go to bed, so yeah. 24 hours later. Hey y'all, I look a mess. <laughs> Day five, morning. Um, let me just show y'all some of this peeling. Like, this is all my dead skin. This is, like, some of the new skin. So, we got some good peeling going on overnight. So, my dead skin is getting darker. Same over here. Let's get in the sun. Let's see over here. You can see, like, right here. <laughs> so, there's a bunch going on. I'm peeling, like, all over my face, basically. Yep, so, right now, I'm gonna shower. And I don't know how that's gonna work. Because I'm doing my hair, too, this time. So, like, the water's gonna have to be cold, and I'm scared. <laughs> So, we'll stay tuned. I will update you guys again later tonight. Many hours later. It is the end of day five. Um, I am going to go wash my face. Because it's half a bed. And I just did some TikTok dances. So, like, I thought maybe my face smooth a little bit. So, maybe we get some peeling action. So, I don't know. I don't really see anything. Um, it's been about the same all day. That's right here. You could see literally the difference in the color. 
kind of much. I only have like a little bit left on each side. That's about it. See, like I got some right here. I got a lot on my forehead left, like right here. And on some of my cheeks. But for the most part, I think most of it is done, to be honest. And it really wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't like super like creepy peeling, like a lot of stuff, you know. I'd say it was pretty manageable, at least up to now. It wasn't like super like gross or anything. So we will see on these results. We will see because it is different compared to what I've seen from other people. But we will see because I have hope. The following day. Hey y'all. Connect the dots, am I right? It's like a Illuminati triangle. It's like so this is day six. This is how my face is looking. I'm pretty much done peeling. I'm really only peeling like on the sides of my face. Like right here. But everything else is pretty much peeled. Um, I have a little bit of like dead skin just kind of around. Because I did like wash my face and put sunscreen and stuff. So I just have a little bit here. A little bit on my nose. But everything is pretty much done peeling. Um, I have noticed I've gotten a couple new breakouts right here right here here and this one was here but it's kind of like surfacing they said that that's normal for breakouts and acne to occur when you do vip because it's bringing all that stuff to the surface like all the sebum the oil and the bacteria it's coming all to the surface so like this one i'm gonna see if i can zoom in it's already coming to a whitehead or to a pustula i should say yeah, that's kind of gross. So this one, I might put on a little patch that I have to kind of absorb all that. Same thing with this one. This one as well. This one's a little bit deeper. And this one right here. But overall, I do notice a little bit of a difference in my skin so far. Just because I'm not completely healed in the process, you know, because you really won't know till a few weeks after. So I really won't know what my skin is like looking but so far i do see a little bit of improvement the scars well not scars the hyperpigmentation does seem to be a little bit um less severe than what it was like it's not as dark just a little bit um you can't really like tell on video but like in person when i'm looking at it i can see it um so yeah that's my day six we will see if there's any progress in the night time and then again tomorrow and then i'm gonna do like a two week thing since my peel so 346 minutes later hello hello so i just came back from work so that's why i look greasy um not much has happened since i've been out um i'm pretty much like done peeling i just have stuff right here so i gotta wash my face and it'll probably go away when I'm done with it. My hands are clean, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much like done peeling at this point. There's really like nothing else. I'll probably have a little bit out when I wash my face. And I'm breaking out, it's really annoying. So I'm gonna put like some pimple patches like on this one. Probably at this one too and this one. A whole Bermuda Triangle, you know. But other than that, my skin's like pretty much done, so. I'm still gonna update tomorrow just because, like, tomorrow's day seven. So, like, I don't want to deprive you of that. You know, this is such a flattering angle. Like, yes. Yes. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow and then I'm gonna give you a two week update. And then y'all are gonna see this video. So, good luck, Charlie. Two weeks later. Hey, Girly Pop. So, ooh. It's been two weeks since my VI peel, so I just kind of like wanted to share my results. So let's go in. Um, so this one, she was in here before any of this. I accidentally scratched it the other day, so that's why this might look a little worse than it did. But we do see a tremendous difference. Um, in photos, actually, it doesn't seem like there is much of a difference, but I can see it like in person um a lot of like this stuff that was like super heavy has gone away um this one's like a uh, active and this is a blackhead um but 
my texture is so much better. My face is so smooth now. Some of these are new that popped up, um, which, like, why? Like, some of these are new. This one's new. So that's kind of, like, annoying. But, I mean, when you have acne skin, what can you do? Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I did take some befores and afters. So, like, let me put those in for you guys. So, yeah, like I said, like, you could tell, like, in these photos, my skin is better, as you can tell from, like, video. But, like, in photos, it's not, like, that noticeable because I do get different and new breakouts but if you look very carefully and closely at the before photos you'll see that in the after photos where certain marks were they're not there anymore or they're not as you know like noticeable so I do see a difference um I'm supposed to go back and do another VI peel in two more weeks in April but with the quarantine I'm not completely sure if that's gonna happen so I'm not sure I'm keeping it by ear because I was thinking doing one more peel and then I want to start microneedling treatments but if I can't I might do a TCA peel since I have those products at home so I might do one of those and then maybe after that if we're all clear from quarantine I can do another VI peel and then start my microneedling treatments um but yeah so you guys that is about it thank you for tuning in to this video um there's, like, not that much, like, chemical peel stuff on, like, YouTube. So I know people are, like, intrigued by this stuff, especially with, like, skincare. Um, this peel, overall, I thought it was a very nice peel. For other people, they've had way excessive shedding. Um, for me, personally, it was very minimal. It was very easy to keep up with. Very simple. Um, so I did enjoy this peel, and I think I would definitely want to do it again because I did like the results from it. Um, so yeah, that is all. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. While you're subscribing, go down and hit the little bell button that's right next to the note. And you're gonna when I post whenever. Still don't know, I'm playing it by ear, okay? Go down in the description and check out my social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. TikTok, you know the vibes. Leave a comment what you thought about this video, if there's any other videos you'd want to see. If you have any questions regarding chemical peels or anything else that I didn't mention in this video, go ahead, shoot me a question. And yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you are being the best you can be in this quarantine. Try to be productive or try to relax or, you know, stay inside, wash your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes. Plain and simple. I will see you guys soon with a brand new video. So until then, peace out. Take hold of me. You're flowing through my own like ecstasy. Ecstasy.